So we're gathered this morning after a two-week event we met two weeks ago, if you do recall, in this same spot, to kick off the Penny War. And now we're here to talk about your efforts to provide for members of your community to support them in this holiday season. I am just going to say, and we'll go over some numbers and Mr. Butler is going to share some things and get excited about, but so impressed with the numbers I've seen so far. Uh, overall, if we compare it to past years, this is the best year of Penny War ever. So I do, I praise your efforts. Uh, now if we just give attention to Mr. Buckley, he's gonna run down the important numbers. Thank you, Mr. Anderson. Uh, so, I'm sure you guys all wanna know the individual winners by team, who will get that special breakfast. Uh, no, you guys just wanna to skip to the, to the money? Oh, okay, okay. So, quickly, We'll talk about the winners. So from Team 7H, and this uh, homeroom had $91.49 in pennies. That's 9,141 pennies was Miss Sweeney's. <laughs> from Team 7I, newcomer this year, Miss Spillane's homeroom. This one was a shocker, because from uh, Team 7J, it's always Mr. Carlin, except for this year. Oh. And it's Ms. DiPilato's home. Yeah. And from Team 7K, this one was a tight one, Miss Penny's home. <laughs> For the winning team that was going to get that all special pizza party. As you recall, two weeks ago, I was down here bragging that it was going to be 7 H again. And it's 7 H again. It's how much money did we raise for the needy fund? Now, if you recall, I said last year we raised $1,868 and change. And I said we wanted a goal of $2,500. We did not raise $2,500 this year. We raised $3,500. So that's all you get. Now, just to, to put it into perspective, we had $653.90 in pennies. 65,000 pennies. Now, to Ms. Bernhardt, Ms. DiPilato, Ms. Blaine, Mr. Pettit, Ms. Cadbrigan, and myself, we know because we counted them all at Cape Cod 5. It took us two days to change in all that change that you guys brought in. And if you guys do, if your parents uh, do bank with Cape Cod 5, anytime that you go in, say thank you very much because we would not be able to do this without them, without their support. So they are a great community bank that has helped us. Give them a round of applause.
And now, I think I've talked enough, so I'm going to turn it back over to Mr. Anderson. Thank you, Mr. Buckler. A couple items Mr. Buckler didn't mention. You noticed I had brought two checks from the last two years. One of them is for $1,863. The year before, we raised $1,225. That's a total of $3,093.08 from the previous two years combined. This year alone, you beat that total by $500 in one year. So once again, round of applause for yourself. And we do appreciate your efforts, but as Mr. Buckler mentioned, but I didn't think we had the correct response. Four teachers from the building took what ended up being over a thousand pounds, by the way, over a thousand pounds worth of coins. And they left here Friday while the rest of us went home, and they went right to the bank. And they counted and they counted, and they counted. And then the bank closed, and they weren't done counting. They went back Saturday morning. I stopped in, not to help, I was doing my banking, and I saw them. Guess what they were doing? Counting. Counting, you're paying attention, that's excellent, okay? And they spent another hours counting at the bank to make this all happen. And Mr. Buckler mentioned it, but you guys didn't go crazy and applaud. So at this time, I'd like you to thank your teachers for all the effort they put on. At the same time, I just want to recognize a few people who are behind the scenes, but this money doesn't just sit someplace. This money does great things. We use this money for the BIS Needy Fund to buy presents, to buy food, to buy clothes for members of our community. Doesn't just magically happen. Our guidance department, our special ed staff, go shopping on their own time wrap presents, go through all that process to help the community. It's all done because you bring the money in, but then they're able to do their work as well. So if we can have a round of applause for all those staff members. And I really want to stress you know, the pride I have in this group in front of me, the humility that it takes when it comes to efforts like these, and I hope when it's Christmas morning or over break and you're opening presents and having a great time, that you do reflect for a second and realize that you've made a lot of other families very happy as well. There are children that are going to be opening Christmas presents, there are families that are going to have gifts provided to them because of the efforts over the last two weeks that this entire class and staff have gone through. So I really appreciate that. I always reflect, we've done this for a number of years, I always reflect over Christmas break and think about your efforts, your time, your energy, your caring. That is gonna make a whole number of families just have another great vacation, great Christmas time uh, this year. So thank you all again. Great job.